Okay, shall we get started? Is that English? No? Yes? I'm from Germany, but I obviously we're doing this in English language. It's very interesting information we actually researched. If you look at that picture, it's a uh, partial foot prosthesis yeah, for a uh, toe amputation that is almost 3,000 years old. You all know the sea leg from Ottoburg. It's 20 years old, almost. Because this is the fundament of our knowledge before we really get started to touch our patients, okay? We are going to get through the uh, uh, amputation levels and also some muscle knowledge, a little bit of bone knowledge. And we know that every joint has a physiological range of motion in terms of flexion, extension, sometimes rotation. There are different shapes of transtibial stumps, stump conditions. So it's always about how to avoid mistakes. And for me it works best to have a, a clear system. Look, I pulled already off my, my negative from the positive, so this is what we got. So now I, I can take care of this, you see? The next step after the rectification, when we are satisfied with our plaster model, is to provide or to prepare to produce a um, soft inner socket but before we do the rigid thermoforming socket. for now to keep as much as possible inside the structure. Everything is very clear there. Yeah. Well done. I just press this. It's a bit thin here, you need to be careful. This is. Your modeling is fast, it's like this, very fast modeling. You made a very good job. I could also see that you understand what you're doing. But I think it would be very good if he goes through the procedure one more time together with Nico. Now as a next step, after we finish the alignment, we are going to see our patients and I, I just would like to raise some concerns when working with the patients. You must ensure a safe setting for the patient to stand up, especially when there is a temporary prosthesis. <laughs> The first thing we are going to ask him if he feels comfortable while walking. We should also check the length step, if both steps are in the same length. The goal is always minimize mistakes, be systematic, be organized, you know, be structured. Be honest and be critical with yourself. A good professional is critical with yourself. It was nice. I'm proud of you. You made a nice job, really. Thank you. Excellent.